Jillian, let's bring in Chicago. Represents the city's 15th ward. Raymond, welcome. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, sir. Uh, dispatcher Keith Horton, Thornton Jr. has gotten a whole lot of attention in your city for sounding off on Mayor Lori Lightfoot and also on major staffing issues. Let's play it. It's outrageous, and I'm not happy. When you say Chicago, people are afraid. <laughs> it's like it's a death zone. Several of my officers who texted me, okay, um, and said that they were scared. <laughs> They're tired of this nonsense, they have no backing, and they're scared of being out there by themselves. Alderman, what do you make of those criticisms? You know, Keith is a Chicago, and indeed the nation know what's truly going on in the city of Chicago right now. You know, Mayor Lightfoot said last week that our safety is her number one priority, but her policies and those that impact not only my safety, but the safety of our brave men and women who are the front line of law enforcement have been contradictory to those words. She has left many of our police districts without officers, forced many of them that do have a beat assigned to them to go to their job without a partner, and oftentimes puts their lives in danger. And we've seen in the city of Chicago just how dangerous it can be when earlier this year, Officer Ella French was murdered in what mm. was considered a routine traffic stop. Violence and petty crimes have long been a part of life in the South and Western neighborhoods of Chicago. But now my understanding is it's spreading to the expensive neighborhoods as well. And the stats are pretty shocking. Murder up 5%, theft up 20%, criminal sexual assault up 29%. How alarming are those numbers? It's very alarming to see all of the worst stats that we monitor on the rise in every neighborhood in the city of Chicago. You know, Lori Lightfoot talks about equity. All she's done is made every neighborhood equally terrible because of crime and violence. Not trying to raise communities up, but focusing on bringing every community down. And as someone who was born in this city, someone who was raised in the city to love this city, it is disheartening and disgusting to watch this mayor continue to destroy Chicago with no concern or compassion for the victims and communities that are left in her wake. Alderman, do you have some bright ideas on how to improve things, how to fix your city? We can start immediately by allowing our police officers to start chasing and going after those criminals who are committed to terrorizing those neighborhoods. The policies that have been introduced and put in place by Mayor Lightfoot must be turned back. We must allow our officers to do their job. And yes, in the previous segment, now that COVID is relenting a little bit with regards to opening up other parts of our economy, we must start putting people back in jail. We did a disservice to our communities by doing early release. Those individuals who should be in jail now need to mm -hmm. go back immediately. It's not just Chicago with major problems. As our setup piece suggested, 16 major cities have set homicide records ranging from Portland to New Haven, shattering all-time homicide records. Do you blame the defund the police movement and demonizing police officers? Without a doubt. And let's be clear, there's more than one way to defund the police. And we've seen that in the city of Chicago, where that policy hasn't been vocalized, but the effects have been espoused by this mayor and by some of her allies. When you defund through attrition, when you do not hire what your city council allows you to hire, those are also ways to defund police. And it demoralizes the community and destroys the relationship that is so integral to putting bad people behind bars. We need to focus on appreciating our brave men and women who put on that uniform every day to keep our cities safe, regardless if it's Chicago, Portland, San Francisco, or others. Politics must exit the stage when it comes to public safety. Alderman Raymond Lopez, we wish you and the great people of Chicago, what a beautiful city, the very best. We hope uh, things can get under control at some point. Thank you, sir. Thank you.